you make your own conjugated gold carbon dot material here the precursor for making the gold sorry carbon nanomaterial is citric acid you can take any material or compound which has carbon as the precursor material anything that is going to work but if you want to have very highly pure carbon dots is better to use high purity chemicals there is the reason here we have used citric acid we can use a very cheaper chemical which is available at a much lower cost but good purity okay now polyethylene glycol is mixed with it put it in a microwave oven again same domestic microwave oven for 6 minutes then you will see that the transparent solution you started with turning into a yellowish dispersion that is a signature that the tiny carbon nano dot dots have been synthesized and they are now in a dispersion state in your reaction vessel that is part one carbon dot has been prepared now you can take a sample out of it and do the routine analysis to ensure that it has got all the properties of a carbon dot okay now to this dispersion we add the gold precursor same thing that we use in while synthesizing gold nanoparticle or chloric acid H A U C L 4 mix this precursor to this dispersion C D dispersion carbon dot dispersion and add some trisodium citrate as a reducing agent because you have to reduce the gold salt to its gold form elemental gold form in Michael Faraday's experiment they use starch we can also use starch you can use glucose or any other reducing agent will work so they no need to use trisodium citrate but this is one example of this you can use any other reducing chemical that is available with you readily okay or you can use glucose which is available cheaply mix these two things if required measure the pH if it is not close to 9 or 10 add some sodium hydroxide drive the pH to 10 close to 10 and then you will see that the gold particles nanoparticles will be formed which you will not see with your naked eyes because it is happening in an environment of a dispersion of carbon dots so the moment they are formed the carbon dots will interact with them then they will immediately bind into a conjugated form and the color of the reacted solution will be looking something like violet for a gold nanoparticle it is a wine color dispersion for carbon dot it is yellow when there is a conjugate it looks violet so these are the naked eye observations of how they look like once synthesized the other signature of the formation both the carbon dots and all the conjugate is looking at the sample under a ultraviolet light both of our both of them are fluorescent molecules and then you will see a ultraviolet response it will radiate or the 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 so sample will look completely different under ultraviolet light so then you are sure that your sample is actually a carbon dot material okay so after they are prepared you send it through a routine characterization methods like transmission electron microscopy elemental analysis to see that it's indeed you have gold and carbon in it and nothing else these are basically results of those things and depending on the precursor concentration and the experimental uh, conditions you can also change the size of the conjugate surface charge of the conjugate also fluorescence intensity which is called the quantum yield which is written in the middle and you can see for the sample s6 which has got the best quantum yield is something like 23 percent which is considered reasonably good for any imaging or fluorescence experiment so you have a control of in your hands now to make gold carbon dot nano conjugates of various size for more updates 
subscribe to our channel click the links shown on the screen to stay connected